Hello everyone, in this video, I wanted to show you how to get started with Azure Machine Learning in Jupyter Notebooks, okay? And I'm just gonna follow the official Microsoft documentation and see if we can complete uh, the way they want us to do this uh, setup and complete the lab. So, in this tutorial, we are gonna complete the steps to get started with Azure Machine Learning. By using the Jupyter Notebook, this is a really nice notebook. If you're familiar with running Python code, you probably already know what it is. We're gonna run this notebook on a managed cloud-based workstation or compute instance. This tutorial is a precursor to all other Jupyter Notebook tutorials. So once you have done this, uh, you'll be able to complete all other models using this uh, Jupyter Notebooks. So really in this tutorial, we're gonna create Azure Machine Learning Workspace. You can do this many different ways you can do it from portal from running code locally then clone the tutorial notebook to your folder in the workspace and we're going to create a cloud-based compute instance with the azure machine learning python sdk installed and pre-configured so that's pretty nice right uh, if you don't have a subscription you need a subscription uh, try out the free version of the azure machine learning today okay so First thing, let's get started uh, uh, with creating a workspace and uh, uh, what we want to do, sign into Azure and uh, we'll create and create a resource, okay? So I already have a whole bunch of workspace in here. So let's just go there. Uh, this is the machine learning space. Let's just go to Azure, port, uh, sorry, portal.com, portal.azure.com and let me see if i'm yeah i'm still logged in so create a resource you want to create uh, what kind of resource uh, you want to create a resource and then machine learning is what you're gonna select so just paste over here machine learning and that showed up so this is what we're gonna do uh, if you read just a little bit machine learning empowers developers and data scientists with a wide range of productive experiences for building training and deploying machine learning models create an azure machine learning workspace to train manage and deploy machine learning experiments and web services so that's pretty good click on create and here i let me see just try to be as closely followed the the documentation as possible so here, uh, workspace name, subscription, resource group, uh, they are using docs AML. So that's what I want, I want to use in here. So create new uh, docs AML. Workspace name, they've, they've see if they have anything in particular. Uh, docs WS, so that is what I'm going to use. And uh, everything else is automatically filled up and uh, uh, workspace edition basics so everything else we are really not configuring so come over here and just hit on uh, review and create so it's will go through the validation uh, so it says that whatever limited amount of uh, configuration we have done is good enough so I'm just gonna hit on create okay so once this is getting created uh, warning it takes several minutes to create your workspace uh, in my experience, it actually doesn't take that long. It's like maybe a couple minutes or maybe even less. So let's uh, see that. Uh, deploy mini progress. You can uh, watch how the progress is going over here by clicking on this button. And you see the uh, it's already created uh, the Microsoft Insights. It's creating the key vault. And in a minute or so, I bet, bet you that uh, we'll have everything done. All right, while this is going on, let's go back. Uh, now to view the workspace, we will just go to the resource and uh, we can see what is going on. Uh, the next thing we will have to do, run a notebook in your workspace. So Azure Machine Learning includes a cloud notebook. This is really helpful. Cloud notebook server in your workspace for all install free and pre-configured experience. You, you, you use your own environment if you prefer to have control over your own environment packages and dependencies. So this one, we actually worked on creating our own environment in this series, Python Get Started. So if you go back a couple of videos that I have done, you will know how to create your own environment. But in this uh, video today, we're gonna use the cloud environment that comes with this uh, workspace, okay? So let's see if it's uh, deployed already. 
over here the deployment is still in progress okay maybe i was thinking of some other deployment that only took uh, uh yeah it's actually done so it's, i was kind of right so it didn't took too long so click on go to the resource okay so this is the whole resource that you have uh, and what you need to do you just need to create a click on the launch studio and that will take you to the machine learning studio okay that's what we need to go to do some more stuff so let's see so uh, so here they are actually saying follow along with this video to use the detailed steps to clone and run the tutorial notebook from your workspace so what you need to do sign into the Azure machine learning studio uh, so as I said so over here uh, click on the launch studio and uh, that should take you to the Azure machine learning studio uh, you just need to make sure that you are in the right uh, uh, in the right place okay and let's see over here here everything looks good and docs ws is the current works i have multiple workspace and that is what i'm trying to make sure that i'm in the right workspace if you see i have a ml test ml test 2 and docs ws is what we have just created okay so just cancel it so here i already have everything and if you see this notebook and this is what we're talking about this is the notebook and here uh, they are already giving me this is the first time i'm coming into the notebook is telling us the native markdown editor in Azure ML, it support variable explorer, interly code, table of contents, export notebooks as latex, run notebooks for scripts, Python R and SH commands, uh, SH uh, type languages it supports and just close this one. And to get started, we'll just uh, hit create to create a new notebook. Okay, let's come back to the lab. Let's see what else they're asking us to do. All right, uh, at the top, of, uh, top select the samples, uh, samples tab. So let's uh, come back over here, notebook, here the samples notebook. Let's see which sample they want us to work on. And uh, do a clone. So samples, open the Python folder, sample, open the Python folder and uh, the number present the current release for the Python SDK. Select the bottom at the right of the tutorial folder and then select uh, select clone so let's go over here uh, and then tutorial uh, let's see which one do we need to use uh, let me make sure that they look still the same these things keep changing a lot so over here tutorial and then clone clone is all we need to do so over here uh, tutorial and clone and this is the user file. I think that's all you need to do. So we'll just verify, double check. A list of folders uh, will uh, show the user who can access the workspace. Select your folder uh, to clone the tutorials folder here. So that's uh, fine. So over here, just uh, that's the user and uh, clone. So these are the users. So that's. Uh, right now it's uh, cloning everything the tutorials to over here so now you have the nice tutorial folder that you have just cloned okay now uh, open the clone folder okay here is important you can view the notebook in the sample folder but you can't run the notebook from there so to run a notebook you have to clone the version of the notebook in the user file section so the work that we just did that will allow us to run otherwise i could not run anything now select the image classification part training ipython b so this is the file that we want to select uh, and see if we have that one so tutorial and then uh, uh, image classification probably it's in here let's just make sure uh, let's make sure the file name one more time image classification part one training so image classification part one training ipython b so this is the file that uh, they wanted us us to look at so here what we have we have tutorial one train an image classification model with azure machine learning just make sure that this is what they want us to use on the top bar select compute instance to use uh, uh, use to run the notebook these are virtual machine uh, are pre-configured with everything you need to run okay so if you look at it over here let me make sure that uh, here the compute no comp computes found so this is uh, right now it looks like it does not have anything so we need something to be able to run this 
okay let's uh, let's come back over here and uh, uh, let's see what it is on the top bar select the compute instance uh, to run this notebook uh, these virtual machines are pre-configured with everything you need to run uh, Azure machine learning if no VM select select add to create a compute VM instance when you create a VM follow this okay since I don't have anything configured right so I have to kind of select one right uh, it says nothing is there so let me click back it one more click get out of here one more time get back in just make sure that I have nothing there yeah so it looks like I have nothing selected and uh, start computer is not gonna work so add so select virtual machine what kind of virtual machine that I want uh, I want something really cheap maybe this one cost point 11 cent an R let's just go with that one uh, we need a compute name let's just make sure that what we need the name must be unique okay so compute uh, let's see and then I'll just use compute so that's what I'm gonna use uh, then uh, let's see if they're asking for anything else valid characters name 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 see the VM size and then just create okay so I don't think I need to do anything I don't really need the SSH access I don't think I'm gonna go inside the SSH uh, to this machine I'm just gonna use it as the compute uh, node so I'm just gonna hit on create so that one is giving me now okay so this is in a creating phase so I cannot still run my code because I don't have any compute yet so let's just give it a second and we just close out this notifications over here compute is now uh, being created let's go back and read this uh, lab uh, so here you have custom widgets uh, uh, if you have custom widgets or prefer to use the Jupyter on Jupyter lab select the Jupyter drop down list on the far right and then select Jupyter or Jupyter lab the new browser window loop I'm not going to use that one so at this time what we're gonna do uh, now uh, we have a development environment we can continue on to train a model in Jupyter Netbook and this is the tu tutorial we're gonna use tutorial train image classification models with MNIST data and scikit-learn if you don't plan on following other tutorials stop the cloud notebook server VM when you are not using it to reduce the cost so this is pretty important uh, if you use the compute instance or, or notebook VM stop the VM when you are not using it to reduce the cost so it's pretty simple and straightforward and uh, let's come back over here first for a second and uh, it's still in a creating state okay and once that's done hopefully we'll be able to run everything okay so uh, let it just uh, get going and over here uh, let's click on this to go to the train image classification model with M NIST data and scikit-learn okay so uh, what I'm thinking I'm just gonna pause the video over here and let's just do this video as a separate one just to try to keep the video short and sweet so the first video that we have uh, completed so far it it has given us uh, uh, a workspace and uh, we have we know how to access the notebooks we know how to how to how to clone our sample data and right now we know how to create a compute environment to run our code in our uh, Azure machine learning studio uh, and that's about it that's where we're gonna stop uh, in the next video uh, we keep working on this particular tutorial one which is about uh, training an image classification model with Azure Machine Learning. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have fun learning machine learning in Azure.